Unreal Engine just priced indie filmmakers out of the market. We need to find a new rendering software today. Hold up there, cowboy. It's not exactly what you think. Are you ready for the hard to swallow pill? If you're worried about it, then you probably don't make enough for it to actually affect you. And if you do make enough, then it's a tax write-off anyway. Epic Games just announced the new pricing model for Unreal Engine this morning, and it has indie filmmakers and students terrified. While I was having my morning coffee and scrolling through the feeds, I saw post after post from people talking about the news like the apocalypse was raining down upon us. But trust me, it's not the end of the world scenario that some might think it is, so you know, don't lock yourself in your Armageddon bunkers just yet. First off, if you're a game developer, nothing actually changes. It's the same model as it's always been. 5% royalty after you cross $1 million in revenue. That's right, $1 million. $1 million. So it's still a free to use engine for students, hobbyists, and most small indie studios. So you're safe, game devs. I'd say you guys can go now, but you'll want to actually stick around because your filmmaker friends are gonna need your support more than ever to ease their anxiety. Now for the filmmakers out there, it's basically the same thing. Until you cross $1 million in revenue, Unreal Engine is still free to use. Yes, even for commercial projects. Not making millions yet? Unreal Engine is still free to use for students, educators, hobbyists, and lower revenue businesses. That's right, even if you are making money off of your filmmaking with Unreal Engine, there's probably nothing for you to worry about. And if you are making more than $1 million off of your filmmaking, then don't waste your time worrying about such a small fee. You should be out celebrating. Besides, filmmakers still have it better than game developers on the pricing model. I said what I said. Let's break down the math. When a game's revenue hits $1 million, the 5% royalty kicks in. 5% of $1 million is $50,000. Check your smartphone's calculator if you don't believe me. For filmmakers and any companies not creating games, the new pricing model is $1,850 per seat. But that's per seat, John. Slow down, cowboy. Yes, that is per seat. And we all know that small things can add up quickly. But if you're an indie filmmaker with a small crew, then you have what? Three or four people using Unreal at most? 1,850 times four is $7,400, which is a long ways off from the $50,000 the indie game studio is paying. And they're probably not really worried about it because they're all calling home to mom telling her game dev actually made them a million dollars. But let's think a minute about bigger companies. When I was the VAD lead working on the Star Wars show Ahsoka on Disney Plus, for example, we had a fairly large VAD team of about 13 people, including me, that were using Unreal Engine. At $1,850 per seat, that would have equaled out to $24,050 total if we only made $1 million in revenue. And trust me, we made a lot more than $1 million in revenue off of that one show. Then if you add in the production team, that's a couple more people. The DPs, that's a couple more people. Then the previous team had uh, four that I worked directly with, I think. And then we're at 21 now. And then even if you count the fact that Dave Filoni and John Favreau each had two machines and you counted those as separate seats, that would put us at 25. With 25 seats, the Unreal bill comes out to $46,250. That's almost four grand less than what the indie game studio making $1 million just had to pay. And if that game studio hit $2 million, they'd be paying $100,000 in royalties. Now, keep in mind that most of us were also working on other Star Wars shows too, all making way more than $1 million. And believe me when I say that a company like Disney doesn't even register $46,000 on their radar. In fact, looking at a lot of the other software used on these productions, Unreal is still one of the cheapest on the list. So breathe easy, my friends. If you were worried about the new pricing model, you're probably not affected anyway. But if you're new to Unreal Engine and the new pricing model announcement was scaring you away, then 
don't worry, it's not gonna affect you either. And now is still one of the best times to start learning this powerful software. Check the link below for my Unreal Engine Pro Masterclass and the free first module that can have a beginner up and running in less than an hour. And don't worry if you're taking a live class already. The Masterclass is not actually in competition with live classes and many students use it as a supplemental resource. Nothing beats live mentorship and I still do that myself. You can check out my live classes with CG Pro in the link below. So. Don't worry about that new pricing model, friends. We're all good. So now let's go out and make something unreal together.